Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Chris Jeffries, who's CEO at Dev Clever, and by the CEO of Vative, uh, Ankur Agarwal, who is, uh, uh, I suppose, the two companies are, are partnered together at the moment. Is that right, Chris? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we, um, um, myself and, and Core Met, uh, well, we were introduced actually by Lenovo, our obviously strategic manufacturer partner, um, uh, at events in the US um, as a proposition really that um, we should explore the opportunity to collaborate. Um, and then we uh, obviously formed um, a partnership which we announced uh, a couple of months back. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm over here today uh, in India uh, meeting uh, some of the team in that. Um, the eight seven also, you know, disrupting the strategy for our uh, new um, India launch, which is coming up soon. So the India launch, obviously, uh, the, you've been, you know, you you have some activities going on in North America already. So India is a, is a new phase for Dev Clever. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So we uh, we um, initially launched uh, across the North America uh, and into Canada, and um, obviously we 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 um, available in the UK. Um, and then looking at kind of the uh, market opportunities, um, especially in the wake of the pandemic, um, uh, India is obviously represented as a significant for our technology. Um, and actually, it's a fantastic opportunity because um, uh, Beatives are uh, main in global infrastructure is based in India, so they're very familiar in the marketplace. Uh, they, you know, they, they represent a lot of customers in the marketplace. So it, it's uh, it's a marriage made in heaven, really, that we can. Um, work together to combine the platforms and you know really make uh, an aggressive impact uh, across this whole region. Right. So I mean, obviously, it's, uh, in terms of numbers, uh, India is what two, three times uh, larger than uh, North America. So it's a, it's a massive market anyway. I presume that uh, the Indian culture is quite heavy on uh, education and careers. Is that right? Yes, yes. De definitely. And I think uh, with this pandemic, uh, you know, we've seen. Uh, Huge growth in online education, yeah. and definitely in India is very connected to this one. Uh, you know, just to give you some numbers, around 300 million students have been impacted during this COVID uh, in India alone. So yeah, and, and everyone is looking for new career enabled tools, online education, and we've seen a huge growth in Indian market uh, for online education. So you've got a subscription model, both for the the educational side and the uh, career uh, uh, sort of platform that you have as well. So those are the two. It's a two pronged strategy. Is that correct? Yeah. So the, the, the products really do work hand in hand because you know when people uh, are looking, uh, particularly in the Indian market, uh, education works slightly differently to from other territories around the world. Um, and when uh, young people or their parents or influencers are um, deciding what particular type of course or particular type of education or the, the options that they choose. Um, career guidance is um, you know, a vital influence over the young person being able to understand the ed education that they need to develop in order to ensure that they'll have employment and a career in the future. And um, you know, there is, um, there is a very um, underutilized career guidance uh, currently in, in, in India and particularly um, with what's been going on um, with the uptake of more digital and learn at home uh, platforms and programs. So um, the, the opportunity really is to almost act as a recommendation um, engine within education so that from the launch of career platform, uh, the young people can uh, understand which courses and which uh, style of learning uh, that they need to acquire. And then uh, from the ATIVS uh, platform, they're then able to access that learning and um, uh, um, develop them skills within the platform, both at home and in the classroom. Um, so it really does create a complete ecosystem for the delivery of um, a hybrid education, with one moment where students can access them from their own devices, but also equally when they um, do um, travel to school, they're able to access and uh, be taught that information by their teachers as well. Uh, I think it might be good actually um, for, um, and Paul, maybe to tell you a little bit more about the uh, products of uh, the ATP, because they, they, they really are um, you know, tremendous in terms of how they're delivered. Sure. Uh, so, just to uh, give you a background on our journey in uh, I've been an EdTech entrepreneur since 2008. Uh, uh, we've been providing services to a lot of schools, universities around the world, uh, you know, in my previous company. 
And one of the challenges that we saw was that all the technologies that were implemented in education have been more teacher centric. Uh, and there we realized that it is a big opportunity to shift the learning from teacher centric to student centric. And that's when you know the creative uh, was marketed by me and my other co-founder. And 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 you know, we basically built an experiential learning platform. We utilized technologies like AR, VR to shift the learning from passive to active. So students can now experience the content and they can learn by doing. So we built a, a world's largest library of STEM interactive content, uh, which has about 600 modules now. And these modules are hosted on our cloud platform. All the analytics are recaptured, so teachers get a great view of uh, which students are doing you know, good in, in, in science, maths, or different STEM sub subjects. So that enables the learning to move to the next level. Uh, and we've been seeing a huge uptake uh, in the solutions. Uh, we have been providing solutions in about 25 countries uh, globally. And what really has been missing is the, uh, the piece before the student actually starts learning, which is the career guidance. There we felt that you know partnering with uh, uh, tech level brings a huge opportunity to complete that, you know, basically fill that gap uh, and ensure that students are able to to be guided uh, on the career path before they actually start learning. So, so that has been, I think, a wonderful journey for us. Uh, we met at Lenovo, uh, Lenovo Boots, and I think from there on, we struck a really good partnership, and that could really put the needs of not only just India, but markets around the world. Right. So obviously, this could be this could go from India to China or anywhere else. It does. It, it's it's just a matter of setting things up and. Uh, uh, sort of tailoring to each country's uh, syllabus, let's say, and each country country's uh, needs. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and also, Zach, it's um, with um, uh, Vative having such a significant infrastructure for development, um, we're based here in India. Um, it, it enables it's going to enable that lever to you know, more rapidly and aggressively accelerate that rollout uh, by having access to the, a wider capability and for us to localize the content in all of these other territories where creative or already established. So it, 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 and the beauty of that is, and I, as Ankur referred then, is that um, the career guidance software actually enables greater volume of sales of uh, creative content subscriptions. So the, the, the appetite for both of our businesses to work more collaborative and reach more markets is, um, you know, very high. Right, and so is uh, are we looking at the, the priority being on B two B or B two C or both, or it, how does how does that work? And uh, well, well, you know, in terms of the the marketing, etc., how are you approaching it? So, so currently, you know, we have a very um, robust and uh, you know tried and tested B two B strategic model where we are uh, offering our solutions via um, uh, both Lenovo, uh, Lenovo and global computers network of resellers around the world. Um, we uh, through V80, we also have you know, a lot of additional partnerships um, with uh, various different distributors and you know, you know big tech brands, um, and um, so we, we're continuing to utilise that panel sales structure um, in order to sell our B2B proposition um, and merely act as a marketing support agent uh, behind that to help them drive their own sales. Um, however. Um, but obviously, um, the opportunities um, around the world are to uh, uh, explore, the, uh, explore the B2C market, which is something that you know, we're, we're very keen to understand more about. Right, so presumably, I mean, you already have, uh, from memory, margins around 70% or so, something like that. So uh, presumably, if it was B2C, the margins might be more, is that, is that right? Absolutely, of course it would. And, and I think the beauty of it is, uh, obviously, with the combined platforms and uh, the, you know, the, the, in, uh, the inevitable integration of these systems, um, they're very scalable globally. So, you know, uh, the, the more utilization we can get in the more territories, the uh, higher the margins will be. Right. So um, India launch, let's say that's happening now. What does the next three to six months look like for Dev Clever and V8? So um, I think um, certainly um, what we are you know, very, very focused on is um, implementing the two products um, into you know, a singular offer so that um, from the B2B side of the business, we are able to offer you know, a, a more extended value 
um, to our customers and their individual students. So we are working closely to make sure we leverage as much benefit for, for all the people um, the system um, relates to um, uh, in terms of development and then focus very much on you know, embedding and making an impactful start and launch in the Indian market. Uh, at the same time as obviously continuing to um, uh, push rollout in various other territories as well. Right, and, and from a from a sort of a revenue uh, perspective, uh, the revenues start immediately. Is that right? From each particular territory, there's no real lead in time for that. No, well, you know, once the systems are localized, uh, so I mean, if you look at I said Death Harbor right now, we're we're live in the US, uh, Canada, the UK, and shortly to be India. Whereas Beatin are already live in twenty six countries, twenty six countries around the world. So. Um, Beatif are already you know, very successful at commercializing their existing assets. Um, the opportunity for us is to uh, quickly um, open up them territories and localize our platform. Um, because as soon as we localize it, we have the opportunity to then commercialize it uh, through the existing channels and customers and, uh, and new markets. And do Lenovo, we haven't talked about Lenovo mm -hmm. that much, but Lenovo are part of that um, expansion process and you're sort of bundled in with them. Is that right? Does it work like that? Yeah. So we're, we're, uh, wherever Lenovo um, launch their VR classroom solution, or, or sorry, roll out their VR classroom solution, um, as long as our software is localized within territories, uh, uh, the relationship is extended to all markets. Okay, well, on that note, uh, Chris Jeffries and Anko Agarwal, thank you very much indeed for speaking to Share Talk today. Thank you, Zach. Thank you very much.